Mean square weighted deviation is a statistical method used extensively in geochronology also known as the reduced chi-squared. The mean square weighted deviation is a measure of goodness of fit that takes into account the relative importance of both the internal and external reproducibility. With most common usage in isotopic dating, this statistic is synonymous with the reduced chi-squared statistic, which has widespread usage in statistics and other fields of science. In general when MSWD equals 1 if the age data fit a univariate normal distribution in T or log space, or if the compositional data fit a bivariate normal distribution in log, log space. MSWD less than 1 if the observed scatter is less than that predicted by the analytical uncertainties. In this case, the data are said to be underdispersed, indicating that the analytical uncertainties were overestimated. MSWD greater than 1 if the observed scatter exceeds that predicted by the analytical uncertainties. In this case, the data are said to be overdispersed. This situation is the rule rather than the exception in hegeochronology, indicating an incomplete understanding of the isotope system. The MSWD statistic is widely used in the field of isotopic dating. Bent and Carl provide an expert publication on this statistic. Note however that MSWD is directly equivalent to reduced chi-squared statistic. Vent, I, and Carl, C. 1991. The statistical distribution of the mean squared weighted deviation, chemical geology, 275 to 285. Often the geochronologist will determine a series of age measurements on a single sample, with the measured value having a weighting and an associated error for each age determination. As regards weighting, one can either weight all of the measured ages equally or weight them by the proportion of the sample that they represent. For example, if two-thirds of the sample was used for the first measurement and one-third for the second and final measurement then one might weight the first measurement twice that of the second. The arithmetic mean of the age determinations is, but this value can be misleading unless each determination of the age is of equal significance when each measured value can be assumed to have the same weighting or significance. The biased and unbiased estimators of the variance are computed as follows. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. When individual determinations of an age are not of equal significance it is better to use a weighted mean to obtain an average age as follows. The biased weighted estimator of variance can be shown to be, which can be computed on the fly as the unbiased weighted estimator of the sample variance can be computed as follows. Again the corresponding standard deviation is the square root of the variance. The unbiased weighted estimator of the sample variance can also be computed on the fly as follows. The unweighted mean square of the weighted deviations can then be computed as follows. MSWD by analogy the weighted mean square of the weighted deviations can be computed as follows. 